PvP Wars has a brand new season of Skyblock. Let me go ahead and do a little reactions because you want to go ahead, if you're in the Discord, you can react to some of their posts and claim some awesome rewards. We even got a custom mob spawner for Rhino, which is a brand new feature for this season. Rhino spawner is 356 million. Let's go ahead and slam those down in there. And before I continue, I'm going to go ahead and vote for the server. All the information down in the description for the server. I don't think I had the vote link, but you can obviously figure that out pretty easily by doing slash vote on the server. So we got a, a refill on our rank or our, sorry, our kit for the new season for a monthly crate and also some goo bits which is super awesome. Shout out to Tycho, the man, the myth, the legend, the homie that's holding the media program together. Oh, it's in your inventory. Oh, you gave me two times. Oh, well, um. So I had asked one of the PvP Wars team members for a refresh on my kit, and two of them answered because I was impatient, if I'm being honest. So shout out to them both. I'm not going to use part of it. $50,000. $50,000. I'm going to go ahead and open up these three crimson keys. And before I do literally anything with anything among most of this stuff, I'm going to go ahead and make my island. We got a goat spawner that puts us at four total. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and open this firework crate and see what we get. When you open a monthly crate, you get nine rewards at the start. And you get one bonus reward, which is better than the rest. We also have a chainsaw pet, which cuts through PvE mobs like a chon- uh, a chainsaw? Chainsaw wood. We got a mob coin generator, a two minute speed, which is also really awesome. A mob cannon, 100 uses. And we have a chance at the top rank, by the way. But, we get a legendary pet pouch that's unfortunate but it's okay you guys can also get yourselves a chance at the top rank which if you check if i do slash goobit you can see glitches the top that you can buy so here's the thing i could save and guarantee that i get this thing i could i could go ahead and get brawl but I'm a gambler, so of course I'm gonna go for the three monthly crates. What is our final reward? For the rest of these, I'm only gonna show you guys the final reward. So if you wanna see the rest of these, check out the stream VOD over at twitch.tv slash flurpleder. Okay, for a final reward, please. Give me something good. Wait, am I full of inventory? Oh, I am full in inventory, but the great thing is, if you do slash claim, you can see there's an extra area where you can claim stuff. Come on. Fire strength, fire strength. Eye chest, I'll take an eye chest. Ah! Mm, divine pet pouch is not bad, but it's not what I wanted. We're gonna go with the basic island, because I just want something very skyblock. As you can see, it's just the bare bone. But we have a starter chest which is full with everything we might need. We've got some barrels, which I can put other stuff in. I'm going to go ahead and claim this stuff. I'm going to put up, obviously, the spawners for now. I'm going to put up all the mob coin generators. Actually, hold, please. So we've got three pets active, which is awesome. They will give us a PvE buff, a cell buff, and also a skill experience buff, which are all... I would say pretty equally important. Now we've got a legendary and a divine pet pouch. Legendary, we got a chainsaw pet. Divine, we got ourselves a tractor pet. Mow through crops like a tractor would. I don't entirely know what that means, but it sounds great. All right, so we got our island. We can obviously do P time day. And yes, I did in fact think I could redeem that grinder G kit and get an extra grinder G kit. Don't judge me. I'm an idiot. Admins, if you're listening, um, please give a random grinder G kit to literally pick anyone on the server. Just, just random. We can go and warp zone, which is a very beautiful area. Can I fly? I can fly in this area. Our number one task right now is wheat. My, my tractor pet activated, I guess. Now, I don't have a harvester hoe. Could I buy one is my question. There's none in the auction house, so that's a little unfortunate. 
Harvester hoes are absolutely amazing because they slam these resources right into your inventory. They also auto sell them after a certain amount and a bunch of other things. If you manage to get one, I highly recommend you keep it because it's going to make this a lot better. But because of the fact that we don't have one, I'm at least going to go ahead and show you. First of all, my tractor pet is now level six. Wheat, we've got carrots. I'm also on wheat right here. Um, we've got nether wart and we've got crystals as the resources that you can farm. They give you a bunch of money as you'll see right here in a second. Uh, let me make sure I pick everything up. I want to make sure I can sell it all. If I do a little sell all, that is 54,000 and that was like a line here and then like a little bit here. Like that's not a lot. The features I do know about this server for this new season is honestly the main one that stuck out to me is the brand new spawners including the dragon spawner which costs us 712 million other than that we've got a golem spawner which is also custom and a rhino spawner which of course is custom i know i have some wheel of fortune spins so you know what let's go and warp there and see what i have i'm not gonna use all of them because it's gonna take a fat minute our fourth is three crimson keys, and our fifth, our fourth, not fifth, I skipped the number. Four more crimson keys, and for our final summer wheel of fortune spin, as you can see over there, is 2.5 thousand mod points. I have other ones, but I'm not really worried about them. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly use this here. All you have to do is right click it, and then shift, and just move your mouse around and uncover the scratch card. I believe it's four for good results, and I think these ones down here are bad. This is common, rare, I think legendary epic or epic legendary, something like that. Point is, we got nothing. Well, we do have seven of these crimson keys, which I can go ahead and use, and I think part of the reward is a little, oh, wait a minute, it's summer crates again, or sorry, summer uh, scratch cards again which is actually very useful. I'm gonna go ahead and try and slap this on this just for shits and giggles. If it fails, I'll cry. <gasps> it worked! Oh, let's go. All right, two exotic orbs. We've got Escapist 3 and Blast 1, which are both, uh, in my opinion, not necessary. Now, I guess for day one, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a mob coin generator system, and I'm gonna set up... I might not set up, but I'm at least going to show you guys the brand new Rhino Spawner just to see what it has to author. Author? But you know what? One thing I will go ahead and do is IS Upgrade, which I highly recommend you guys look into this. But the ones I recommend is at least one level into each of these. Now, the reason being is because if you see here, for one level, for 1.5 thousand mob coins, we can get uh, over double the effectiveness of our skills booster of course i'm gonna go ahead and slap that on money as well for the same price for over two times other than that you can spend your mob coins and slash transfer but personally i uh i'm not a big fan of that there's nothing in here that like really excites me currently i don't have a way to like store all of this so we need a solution for that and there's a very very easy solution this is literally the simplest design you can do for a mob coin generator so all you have to really do is just kind of build a line out like this and you can place them down on this i'm gonna go and put one down to show you guys we put them right there and that's what it looks like so if we do this essentially we can have in my opinion the best setup for mob coin generators so we have a hopper all we have to do is break this and everything will essentially flow into here and go into there now i'm gonna go and break that because apparently that's not right so you can see two no three yes and then if we go two out it'll work again two out it'll work again unfortunately that is the maximum i can do but we can go ahead and do that which will show everything will be pushed into that beautiful, beautiful slot right there. It is literally the simplest system ever. The only other thing is, of course, I've got to double layer it and maybe roof it. I forgot one important step that I should mention beforehand. I, um, I also need to box this part in so nothing, like, falls out of line, basically. But that should work. Essentially, everything's gonna push this way, drop down into that hopper, same with this. But... 
I gotta finish it first. Now, one last thing I do want to go ahead and check out is this custom spawner for rhinos. Let's go ahead and place them down. Whoa, 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 hey. Let's see what these guys have to offer in terms of money. They, uh, they take a while to kill. Oh my. But they give us 28 rhino tusks, which if we go ahead and sell them, that's a whopping 150 per. That's actually really good, I want to say. I don't know what the, the economy is like at the moment. By the time of next video, I'll have all of these guys set out. Because of the fact that I was given an extra Gooby pouch and an extra multi crate, I'm gonna do a slight giveaway here only for the people that have watched this point. So if you guys want to earn a chance at these, all you have to do is comment down below hashtag yes. And you have a chance of earning these. And let me know what your favorite feature is for this season that's not required but please let me know i'm curious what you guys want from this season but that being said that is the end of this video if you guys enjoyed this one leave a like on it subscribe for more and i will see you guys in the next video